finish up, I want to ask you for your top five riders. This is a quick fire. Top five riders on medium. Um, so Robin, Robin Wilding, I think yeah. is like, I really like uh, her humor, uh, her comedy aspect. I really like Rebecca Romanelli as well. Okay. I think like the life she's lived is really um, just weird, weird and varied life. And she seems like one of those women who's like quite a powerful, powerful lady, like who right. has a presence, I guess. And I don't even know her, but just from her writing, I'm like, yeah, she's she's a gangster. Yeah. Um, I would put Ben in there as well. Bel ben Ulsani, Ulanzi, Ulanz the guy, the thought thinkers guy. I always- No, I know, I know, I know Ben. I know. But he's just fantastic at like setting a scene. I like I go through the way that he, because um, when I feel like when I'm setting a scene, I, I'm not, I'm not using language that can really grip the reader at the same time. And I feel like sometimes I, you know, it's, it's almost boring when I set a scene at times. Whereas Ben, I'm always hooked. He's good at um, the tempo's right. Like he sets the scene at the right time, and I'm actually trying to learn a bit more about how to do that. I think he's also just a great writer from a the standpoint of like grammar and everything like i can learn a lot from from his writing your writing as well not to blow smoke up your ass you. but uh yeah no, i really enjoyed good, your good, writing, good. But, yeah <laughs> no, and, um, no no worries man and a guy called brad brad yonica as well is, he's a travel writer um and I've, he's seems to have thrown himself into a lot of you know dangerous and strange situations i like the way that he navigates them and he's a good a good symbol for me to to look up to for when i get a bit older not too much older but a bit older like when i have a family and like or get into my 40s there's still still adventures to be had out there yeah yeah i'm pretty that's around the corner for me just four years all right so very quickly <laughs> quick fire um top five countries top five countries indonesia um, Indonesia's number two, Kenya. Kenya's number one, Indonesia's number two. I really like Italy because, you know, food and really attractive women, what's not, not, not to like. Um, and then Namibia, uh, number four, because that place is just unbelievably beautiful. And I don't think many people go there, but it's, yeah, I really like Namibia. And then last, last country, uh, Wales. Let's throw Tanzania in there as well. No, Wales, I'm afraid, is not making the cut. Oh, Northern Ireland. Northern, Northern Ireland. Ireland. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Tanzania Northern Ireland. Yeah. <laughs> the, best beaches, the best beaches I've ever been on in my life, still to this day, uh, uh, we're on that north coast. My wife and I are going to move back to Ireland hopefully soon. And it's basically, the decision is based around being close to my brother, Dublin, being able to work with him in media in the future but also the real reason is like when we have kids i want them near those beaches man you know yes but near cool. those beaches. I, I they need to learn how to surf at an early age um okay favorite beer favorite beer uh i really like there's a beer called coniston bluebird okay that's brewed in the lake district and my god it is just so good me and my dad like whenever we go for a hike in the lakes we always come down, we could, you have to buy it there. So we'd right. buy a crate of, Con when I say we, dad buys a crate of Coniston Blue and yeah. I h help him drink it, yeah. Our favorite sandwich? Um, BLT. BLT, good. Uh, pizza or burger? Pizza. Pizza. All right, last one. Cuisine is very important for every country. Like you say, when you go to Italy, you know, you can taste the country and the food. Which country yeah. can you have been to best exhibits that where you eat this and you say, yeah, this is this place? Uh, Indonesia. I think Indonesia has like such an interesting combination of like spices, like sambal and like nasi goreng, which is like fried rice with like eggs and stuff in it. Um, I lived in Indonesia for about two years. And I, when I first got there, I preferred like the Western breakfast because it's mm -hmm. hard to get yourself away from bacon, hash browns and toast and stuff like that. But then I slowly realized that the Indonesians are onto something and that right. like the, the breakfast of the rice and the sausage and the egg, actually a good mix. So I think Indonesia is a, you feel like you're in Indonesia when you're eating Indonesian food. Yeah. Awesome.